Hey, welcome to the Bitcoin Bull. Today we're gonna to see what Bitcoin should be doing and what happened yesterday. Yesterday, Bitcoin took a big drop. We'll talk about that. And also we have this article here, which is Bitcoin dips below 33,000. This is yesterday. Uh, as shorts spike, traders warn of violent Bitcoin price squeeze. So we'll talk about that, how, why, why Bitcoin dropped yesterday and what that means for the future. There's, uh, Bitcoin is gonna make a really big vertical move coming up. So I'll let you know what that's about. And so let's go ahead and take a look. Let's zoom in on the hour chart and see what happened to Bitcoin yesterday and what it's doing now, what, what it should be doing today. And then we'll take, and then we'll see, we'll take a look at this article and I'm not going to go into any other news today. I want to concentrate and talk about what happened yesterday and what Bitcoin should be doing the next several weeks from now because it's very important. So we'll basically just be doing analysis today because also I think there's a lot of people that got scared yesterday with uh, with this drop. So I wanted to clear things up and, and calm everyone down because I think uh, there's going to be some, Bitcoin's going to be doing some really good things coming up uh, this week and the next several weeks. And then we'll go into, I'll give, uh, I'll explain briefly what the whole crypto market is doing. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah, and if you can also, if you give me a like for this video, if you find this video interesting, I'd really appreciate that. That would help grow the channel. And also hit that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on what Bitcoin is doing, what it's doing every day, and what it should be doing, and all the uh, most important Bitcoin news. So let's go ahead and get started. So yesterday, at the, here, let me make this bigger. So yesterday, uh, when I was making the video, let's move this over in the middle. When I was making the video, we were, we were up here and I was saying the most likely scenario would be, well, there'd be two scenarios. Either Bitcoin would hit this resistance and I said the most likely scenario would be that we would be hanging out at this resistance and then the next day going up. Another scenario, but less likely, would be Bitcoin to keep going up and break the break this resistance, this uh, this tendency line here, break it and keep and keep going up. Or if something like if the stock market crashed, or there's some bad news, or Elon Musk made a bad uh, a tweet talking about bad about Bitcoin, or something something bad happens, some bad news, then Bitcoin would turn around. It would when it would get here to this resistance, then it would. Uh, drop and the Bitcoin can drop and it would drop all the way and hit here, which is exactly what it did. It hit exactly here on this, on this, um, downward tendency line here, this, this, this support line. And, but, but the thing is, the strange thing is, is that there's no, there's no bad news about Bitcoin and the stock market's doing fine. Yesterday was fine. So it was, it's strange that it dropped. And the reason I think it dropped, which in this article, which we'll go into in a minute, says the same thing, that these aren't, these aren't people that are selling their Bitcoin because they're, they're worried that Bitcoin will drop even more. These are, these are, these are day traders. These are people that are, that are buying in here, for example, they bought in here and they sold here. This is, there's a lot of people that, that are doing trading these these past several weeks since since Bitcoin is in this whole area and it's not it's not getting off the ground while people are waiting for Bitcoin to get off the ground they're 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 doing some 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 day trading so they're buying in so they're buying in here for example and a couple of days later then they're selling up here which makes Bitcoin which makes the Bitcoin price drop and when it drops again they they buy in again buy in again here and then they sell again here and then it makes the price drop again and then they buy in again here and then they sell they sell again here or here at this point here and so that's what that's what people are doing but these aren't people that are selling their bitcoin because they think it's gonna they put because bitcoin's gonna disappear it's gonna go down even more because there's a floor here it's not it's not bitcoin isn't dropping below this floor because everyone's holding their Bitcoin, which we went into a few days ago, that there's not very many Bitcoins in the exchanges recently 
people have taken their Bitcoin out of the exchanges and they're saving their Bitcoin in cold wallets and their wallets. If, if they have their Bitcoin in wallets, that means they're not interested in selling their Bitcoins because to sell Bitcoins, you have to take it out of your wallet, your virtual wallet or your, 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 your hard drive and put it into the, put your Bitcoins into the exchange so that you can sell your Bitcoin. So people aren't selling to, to get out of Bitcoin. They're selling because they're doing trading. And that's why there's, you know, one day goes up, one day goes down. It's just, you know, staying in here. So Bitcoin, people started selling here, all these stop limits of these traders that are putting stop limits so that they can sell their Bitcoins when, once it starts dropping. It, so Bitcoin started dropping, started breaking all these, triggering all these stop limits to go off, which made Bitcoin drop all the way to here. And now that it's here, all these traders are starting to buy in again. So today, Bitcoin will most likely work its way up and to this to this uh, to this tendency line here to this to this uh, resistance line here and then either break and go up tomorrow or the next day or the traders will sell again and make it drop again until finally one day um, any day now a uh, big institution a big company, uh, like like Microsoft or Apple or someone big. Once someone big buys in, while Bitcoin's here on the floor, and it'll make Bitcoin skyrocket, and then everyone will want Bitcoin. Everyone will start buying in the Bitcoin uh, when they see that it's clearly getting off the floor, and that's that's what will make Bitcoin start start going to the moon. So here, let's take a look at this article. So it may be even yeah. It's right now. It's a boring time for for. For people investing into Bitcoin, because it's like it's, we've been on the floor for so long now, and traders are just doing day trading. They're buying, buying one day, selling it again, selling their Bitcoins the next day, buying it again, making Bitcoin go up and down. So it's kind of boring. It's kind of a boring time right now. But any day now, mm, Bitcoin is going to get very interesting. So patience, and if you're patient, you're gonna, you're gonna get what you're des what you deserve. You're gonna, you're gonna get the the benefits. So it's boring. It's a kind of a boring time right now for Bitcoin, but but Bitcoin is preparing a rare event which will shake up price action definitively, uh, argues trader John Wick. So let's see what this is about. Bitcoin fell back to thirty three thousand. Uh, that was yesterday. Well, we're here thirty three thousand. We're here and still in the situation. It shouldn't go down any farther on July 12th yesterday as a familiar cocktail of low volumes and mounting shorts pressured price action. So people, so people sold, sold here and they also people bought in short, bought in uh, Bitcoin here so that they could sell it here and make a profit. So that's why it dropped. And Shorters failed to spark a Bitcoin route. Data from Cointelegraph Pro. Um, yeah, we went all the way down to 32,880. And just like last week, a buildup of short positions on major exchange made Bitcoin drop all the way, all the way to where we dropped yesterday. And what else I wanted to explain here? Yes, here. Very important. Earlier, analysis had been more upbeat about the short term prospects forecasting an upside bounce this week, which could see a target of 38,000. So that's what I've been saying. I've been saying, here, let's zoom out and look at the daily chart. So that's what Bitcoin should be doing today. Bitcoin should be slowly working its way up. Okay. And then we'll see if the traders sell again and make it go down the next day, or if we keep going up, but that's what Bitcoin should be doing today working its way back up. That's the most likely scenario. And now what I've been saying, now this article is saying we should be up this week uh, to 38,000. So that, so that means we would be uh, almost hitting 38,000 is here. So we should be here by the end of the week. Let's zoom in a little bit. We should be here by the end of the week. That's, uh, and that's why I was saying yesterday, uh, and I still, I'm still maintaining it, that this should be a really good week for Bitcoin. 
we should be, you know, not going straight up, but we should, we should break, we should break this line here. Maybe hopefully today, if not tomorrow, the next day, or depending on what the traders do. And when someone big buys in the Bitcoin, we should be breaking here, then breaking this resistance here and working our way up to here. That's, that's what Bitcoin should be doing this week. So something like this, you know, bam, bam, going back, uh, taking a pause here and then going up more or less something like that. If everything goes as planned, nothing major happens. That's what, that's what this week is looking like. So that's why I was saying yesterday that I think Bitcoin is going to have a really good week this week. So let's see if that, see if that happens. And once Bitcoin gets off the ground here, once we get out of here, there's a lot of people that want to invest in the Bitcoin, but they're worried it might go down even farther. So once they see that Bitcoin is up here, people will start investing and that will make Bitcoin. So I'm going to give it to the end of the month to do this, to break this very, very, very important resistance line here. And once Bitcoin breaks here, that means this whole situation here will be over with. It will be over with. Bitcoin will then start skyrocketing. Everyone will start investing in the Bitcoin again. And that'll make Bitcoin skyrocket. So, so patience, everyone that there's, there's been people, uh, subscribers telling me that they've been buying in on the, on all the dips that I've been recommending. So if you've been doing that, if you've been buying in a little bit, as much as you can, whatever you have, $10, $50, hundred, whatever, however much you can, if you've been buying here in all these dips mm, and a week from now, two weeks from now, three weeks, depending on if you've also, if you also bought in up, up here too, uh, depending on your situation, how much you invested and when. And very short time, in weeks from now, you should be making some good profit. So with this strategy that we're doing on this on, on, on this channel, buying in on buying all the dips. So that's that's the situation on Bitcoin. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, there's some charts here. We're saying I'm getting to the stage that I'm quite done with this range on Bitcoin. Yeah, me too. This is this is getting, it's difficult to make videos every day saying, okay, yeah, let's, we're still on the floor. We're still on the floor. Bitcoin should be going up. Bitcoin should be going up. Uh, I was saying that yesterday. I can't wait to make, you know, to say great. Bitcoin went up 10% yesterday and should be going up another 10% today and everyone happy and instead of everyone being nervous, but that, that, that will come up very soon. I have a feeling. And let's see, there's another chart here I wanted to show. Um, this looking for an excitement, those looking for an excitement are not being left out this week, even as ranging behaviors continues. Yeah, that this should be, they're saying here that this, this, this should be a really good week for Bitcoin. I was saying that, I was saying that yesterday and the day before. And so we have now entered a zone of coiled up volatility indicated by the yellow shading. He commented and he commented that. Because he, he noticed that on, on, on a chart, he, he analyzed, he, made, he, he saw that there's a squeeze pattern. And this is a violent move incoming and imminent. This tells you it's time to start paying attention. It can resolve as a squeeze breakout or fake out in the coming weeks. So in the coming weeks, Bitcoin should make a very, very violent vertical um uh, um, rise or fall. Now, here they'll explain if that rise or fall should be, if it's more likely to go up, it can rise or go down and make a fall. So squeezes are not an everyday occurrence. The previous two events involved a tip from 9,000 to to 64,000. That's that's what we did last year. We we're all the way down here. And Bitcoin went all the way up to 64,000. So hopefully you bought in down here uh, as well, as well as buying in, in this range here. And let's go on to see more about what he's saying. And now it's at 30,000. It went from 64,000 and dropped all the way down to 30,000. And now the same thing should repeat. Now what's coming up should be the same, the same thing that happened here. The same, same thing should happen now. Anytime now, we should be doing the same thing. 
well, not straight line, but you know, you understand. We should be hitting and breaking this maximum here and working our way up again. That's what I think this is what uh, this article also will say. And while the exact timing and the nature of the next squeeze or even this its uh, direction remain unknown, Wick's bias is to the upside. He thinks that the, this movement, this very violent movement should be going up and not down. But there's two scenarios here he's giving. Contributing, contributing to his belief are both recent accumulation of Bitcoin and the strength of the 30,000 support. Yeah, we've been, we've been in this zone here for so long. It's like, it's clearly showing that, that this is, this is clearly the floor and everyone's taking their Bitcoins out of the exchange. They're holding. So there's no reason why Bitcoin to drop any farther than here. This is, this is clearly the floor. This is, this is, we're on the floor. So if there should be a very volatile movement, it's, there's more percentage, there's more possibilities, more chance of it going up and going down. Once someone big buys in, Bitcoin's taken off. <laughs> um, so here's this chart, and this is this is his two his two uh, his two predictions. What what he thinks it's gonna do. So here we have here's where we are now. I don't know if you can see this down so low. Let me see. Let me zoom out a little bit more in case. So we're here right now, and two scenarios either. Any time now, like in a week or so, today, tomorrow, or in a week or two weeks, after being here on the on the floor a little bit more, Bitcoin should skyrocket, take this vertical jump, and go all the way to to that very important uh, resistance line I, I I I just mentioned, and then make a quick dip and then skyrocket again. That's one scenario, and another scenario would be take a quick dip, hit the floor again because we're just off the floor, but hit the floor again, even maybe for one day, go under the floor and then start skyrocketing. Um, either one, it's uh, the first option would be better than the second option because just to, just so that, you know, we can sleep better at night, not seeing this dip again, not seeing Bitcoin go down again. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because as, as you can see the two whether it's the first scenario or the second, we're gonna be, you know, in, in at the end of August, we're gonna be in like the 45,000, 50,000 range in, in both scenarios. The first scenario, we'll get there a little bit before, the second scenario a little bit later, several weeks later, but mm, if you're in this for the long run, for the long term, mid to long term, doesn't really matter if it hits 50,000, 45,000, uh a week or two before or later unless you're doing like short-term trading so either way bitcoin is looking really good and my scenario what i what i think it should be more like uh the first scenario the a but not so vertical i've been saying in the last several weeks that um, that we should be breaking that we should be breaking these resistance lines doing something more like this hitting this line, maybe making a little pullback again, put it into the traders. And then once someone buys in, hitting this resistance, maybe going back down again, going up, down, up, down, up, down, something something more like this, more of, more of a zigzag than what he's predicting here of going straight up. Um, either way is fine. The end, I mean, the end result will be the same. We're going to hit this resistance line here, very important resistance line. Once it breaks, once Bitcoin breaks here, we are all clear. <laughs> we are all clear. So that's that's what Bitcoin should be doing in the next several weeks from now and, and months. Well, months from now, like I mentioned, like I'm mentioning almost every day, that, that by like, well, I would say over here more, by like, October, November, we should be in this area here and break, break this maximum and go up to the next, to the next peak, to the next maximum that Bitcoin will hit. Um, when we get in this area here, we'll talk more about what, what that should be, but 
I've been saying, I have a feeling that Bitcoin should go up to like the 90,000 range. So, so yeah, if you, if you've been buying in these, these, these drops, or if you buy in today, if you're buying in right now, uh, imagine, imagine how much, uh, profit you'll be making when Bitcoin is up here. Uh, so if you're buying in at 30,000, all right, when it hits 60,000, which is here, that means you've doubled your money. So, and that could happen in a couple months from now, two, three months from now, or, 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 or less. So try getting profits like that with the stock market or with, or with funds or with a savings account or, or with a business doubling your money in in a few months, that's, that's a very good business. That's a very good, uh, investment. So yeah, Bitcoin's on the floor. It's kind of scary to invest now, but that's what you gotta do. You gotta, you have to invest. You have to buy in when nobody else wants, no one's buying in right now. Everyone's just holding. So when nobody else wants to buy, that's when you want to buy. And when everyone wants to set, when everyone wants to buy, when Bitcoin's up here and everyone's saying Bitcoin's going to the moon, everyone wants to buy. That's when you want to sell. You want to buy when no one wants to buy. And you want to sell when no one wants to sell. That's that's how it works, but most people do the opposite. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's that's Bitcoin. Let's see the whole market. Yesterday, the market, the whole crypto market was doing okay, but now, now almost everything's in red. Um, because of the Bitcoin drop yesterday. Well, well, now things are starting to recover some. I don't see the, the rest of the crypto, the whole market in general. I think it's hanging in there. It's doing okay. I think today if Bitcoin recuperates, then the whole crypto market will, will do the same because the last few days it's been, it's been okay. And yeah, once, once Bitcoin gets into, you know, once we break here and we start going up, then I think the whole crypto, the other cryptocurrencies are going to, some of those are going to take off too. They're going to do really well. So that's the whole crypto, the whole crypto market and Bitcoin and the other cryptos are today. There's kind of hanging in there. Bitcoin should work its way up again today. And then we'll see what happens tomorrow. So if you enjoyed this video, you can give me a like, I would really appreciate that. Make sure to subscribe so you can Check out these uh, daily videos, see what Bitcoin should be doing. And thanks a lot for watching and see you tomorrow.